What is up guys, I am Exotic Gaming, and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D weapon review, and today's review is on another one of the very powerful shotguns in the game, the Predator UP-1. As you guys can see, this weapon has an 18 lethality, that means that this is very powerful, and it can two-shot headshot a ruby armored player as long as every single one of the bullets in the shells manages to hit the person headshot wise. That means that this is one of the few weapons in the game along with like the crystal laser cannon UP1, the automatic peacemaker, peacemaker UP2, and the heavy shotgun UP2 that can actually take out ruby armored players relatively easily. Um, out of this one and the heavy shotgun UP2, I personally like the heavy shotgun UP2 better just because it fires faster. Even though it is a little less powerful, the heavy shotgun UP2 does have a faster firing rate, and that's better for somebody like me who does not have the best aim possible. The Predator UP1 is definitely a gun that is for people that have really good aim and do not miss a lot of times. Um, it's definitely not that great of a weapon if you're really bad at aiming and you're going to go for body shots on people like, say, Ruby Armored players. This is a weapon that if you're a low-level player, totally get it. This is one you're going to completely annihilate the enemy team with um, and really have no problem at all. Unfortunately... Like, every single map that I've gone into recently has had, like, no people whatsoever. Even Silent School, and Silent School is probably the best map for the Predator and the Heavy Shotgun. We'll try Nuclear City. Nuclear City is not one of the best maps for this weapon, but to be honest, I don't really have much of another chance. There's there's uh, five other people, so it's not too bad. I'm going to go equip the Predator. That would be helpful. And show you guys... Uh, just how good this weapon is. It has a big capacity, I'm not going to lie. The fact that this thing has such a slow firing rate, the capacity is absolutely fantastic with this weapon. That is probably one of the best, best things about this weapon. As you guys can see, it was a one-shot on a guy like that, so that means that that is quite a powerful pers a weapon. Person, I was about to say person. At long range, like this guy is at right here, you're at a huge disadvantage just because it's a shotgun and bullets spread when you shoot it. It does not go straight in a straight direction just like, say, your gorilla rifle would go. So you have to get close to somebody in order to take them out. As you guys can see there, I was kind of half close to that guy and half of those bullets hit him and it wasn't even a one shot on his iron armor, which makes it pretty, pretty uh, not very good pretty unpowerful uh, if you are at a long range. So, you know, maps like Silent School would be good with this. Pool Party, uh, Infected Prison, and even in Nuclear City like I'm in right here is actually relatively good, not gonna lie. As you guys can see, it was four or five shots, don't remember exactly what it was, but since I was kind of far away from that one guy who had ruby armor, it was still quite a few shots. So you really have to get all of those bullets to hit the person in order to make this a great weapon. Uh, it looks really cool, I'm not going to lie, I like the cool little drum you have at the bottom of the weapon that's completely, like, just breaking every other gun and just, it's awesome, I'm not going to lie, I really like this weapon, I'm happy I bought it. The thing that makes this gun so appealing is the fact that the first upgrade of the Predator does cost coins. I think it's around 300 something coins, so it's it's pretty affordable, um, it's, not, it's not super overpowered or overpriced, and uh, I really like it. I'm not going to lie. As you guys can see, I'm on an ultra kill, so it's not impossible to do badly with this, even in a map like Nuclear City. Even able to take that ruby armored player out in a head-to-head -head combat, he had a sniper rifle and I had this thing. And it's it's a great gun, I'm not going to lie. Uh, a weapon or a special cape that would be really helpful for this weapon would be called the uh, sniper cape, I believe it's what it's called, and it does increase headshots, so even if like one of those bullets did not manage to hit the ruby armored player headshot wise, it would still be a, a two-shot headshot to that ruby armored player. So definitely good to have the uh, sniper cape with your uh, predator, and you'll be completely unstoppable. Of course, against people with the anti-gravity blaster, you gotta be careful. Definitely have to be really careful against people with ruby armor and anti-gravity blaster, because you are not going to beat them. Not at all, uh, especially if they're using Ruby Armor because, you know, Ruby Armor players with their anti-gravity blaster, not even going to get into that. But as you guys can see, I've been doing this gameplay for quite a while now with this thing, and I still haven't run out of ammo. I'm getting close to running out of ammo, but I still have 22 bullets left even after 4 minutes of solid gameplay with this thing. And I'm on a pretty good monster kill with this thing. Um... You know, against other shotguns in the game, I personally still think the Heavy Shotgun UP2 is the ultimate shotgun of this, but the Predator is still still a very close second. It's very powerful, and I absolutely love it. I'm really happy that I did get it. So we're going to try to get these guys, although they all have their anti-gravity blaster, and it probably won't end up well for myself. Um, it'll probably end up well for them, but nevertheless, we're going to still try to take them out. Let's do this. 
Nah, I'm not going to team with anybody because this is this is deathmatch, and I don't team with people in a deathmatch. That's what team deathmatch is for, not standard deathmatch. Um, if these people keep using their anti-gravity blasters, I'm probably going to show you guys in a different map just, just so I don't constantly get blasted around by people with this thing because I hate it when people use anti-gravity blasters. You all know that, and I'm going to stop talking about anti-gravity blasters right now. But uh, yeah, the the heavy sh the, the pred predator was about to say heavy shotgun, but that's it's not the heavy shotgun. As you guys can see, I've just now ran out of ammo, just now, and it's been five full minutes of gameplay, and just now running out of bullets. So you get quite a lot. Uh, I'm gonna try to ask this person to stop using their anti gravity blaster, but I don't expect them to, just because people when they get mad and they don't do well in a match, they just have to take out that anti gravity blaster. Let's see if what they say. Please stop using Gravity Blaster. See what they say. Not gonna lie, they're probably just going to say no. They have the freedom to use whatever the heck they want. But you know what? We just gotta take them out if they keep doing that. You know, because they are definitely the topic of my... topic of the next uh, kill. Don't know what exactly I was going for trying to commentate there for a second. But uh, this is one of the few weapons you can actually get a double kill with. As you guys could see there, that was a one shot. And uh, I still managed with that one single shotgun shot to take both people out, which makes that pretty freaking awesome. I'm not going to lie. I really love it for the fact that it's one of the few ones. The other ones are like the Predator. Not the Predator. I just said Predator. The Prototype, the uh, Steam Power, pretty much any shotgun in the game, and the Prototype, and some area damage weapons. So, uh... Yeah, guys, tell me what you guys think about the Predator. I know a lot of you guys like the Predator better than the Heavy Shotgun UP2, and I completely respect that. Um, you know, it's really based on preference. You can do well with both weapons. I've not gotten really bad gameplay with either one recently, even against uh, people with ruby armor. And I feel like even if you had zero armor, you could still get good gameplay with this thing because it's just that powerful. Uh, it's definitely a good weapon for people at low levels. I do believe it's quite a big difference in stats between the first upgrade and the second upgrade, so I would highly recommend upgrading this thing. It's really, you should upgrade most weapons in the game, because most weapons will increase in their stats dramatically when you upgrade, and you just won't be getting the best uh, effects out of this weapon when you only have the original upgrade of it. So, if you have the gems, get this thing, because it's freaking fantastic. So, anyways, I really want to get this Ruby Armored guy. Really want to get Aja. There we go. <laughs> Said I really want to get it, and I got it. That was pretty pretty awesome. As you guys can see, though, at long range, really, really weak at long range. That's This goes the same with any shotgun, though. So, it's not you're not alone with this thing. That guy, Rock Panda, looks like he probably was... Uh, he was probably in the chat or something like that. Apparently, there's a glitch in Pixel Gun where if you are in the chat... Uh, and you are typing at that present time, you aren't able to get killed. I don't know why. I feel like you should still be able to get killed, even if you're chatting. But, you know, really softs, they don't really have the most intelligent things in updates. We all know that. So yeah, guys. Gonna get a few more gameplays with this thing. Even against these ruby armored, or this anti-gravity plaster user. Still able to get second place, and I still managed to join that match halfway through with, with that many kills, so... Yeah, guys, let's let's get this ammo drops because ammo drops are very important. As you guys can see, you get a heck of a lot of bullets when you get the ammo drops and you fully upgrade or fully uh, buy more ammo. So you're not going to have to worry about running out of ammo. That's really one of the shining things about the Predator is the fact that it has such a big capacity. You don't really have to worry about it. Can you please stop with your anti-gravity blaster, please? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Try to get this guy. There we go. No problem at all. Those one shots, though, it's it's great to have a shotgun against these guys, and you know they have weapons that are so much more powerful than you, and you can still one shot them and take them out. It's a great feeling. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's 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 one of the most fun. I I don't know. A lot of you guys don't like shotguns, and I feel like when I use a shotgun, I have the most fun out of them. There are a lot of weapons in the game where they're good, and it's just you don't have fun when using them. So I I really I have fun using. Let's try to get a... Yeah, so it's still... I still get three shots, but... Some people still get two shots with this thing. Let's try to get this guy. Nah, that's not gonna happen. Um, I apologize if my commentary on my voice sounds a little bit differently. In case you guys happen to possibly not see uh, my other videos I've done since, like, February. Uh, I, am, I am a little sick, and my voice is a little bit differently, so that is why. <laughs> but uh, I should get better soon, hopefully. 
But let's do this. Let's get a few more kills here and there. But I think I've pretty much fully explained the Predator UP-1, the highest upgrade of this weapon as of the 9.1.0 update. A weapon that is absolutely fantastic and totally worth getting. So, overall, this weapon, um, whether you should get it or not, if you don't have uh, a lot of coins in, or gems in this game, I'd say get it because this is definitely a cheaper weapon than they have a shotgun. If you want a weapon that's better, uh, based on my personal opinion, I'd say go for the heavy shotgun. Um, overall, if you just if you don't really care about, you know, if you don't really care about the amount of coins you're spending in the game, and you just want to go for the all-out best shotgun, I'd say go for the heavy shotgun. To be completely honest, that is where I get the best gameplay with. Uh, just it's just because this thing has such a slow firing rate. That is why. I don't like this one as much as the other ones. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'm pretty much done with this review. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, um, I know I didn't get the best gameplay with this thing. It's just because, unfortunately, Silent School only had, like, two people when I tried to record this previously. So, um, I can do some more gameplay with shotguns if you'd like in Silent School. Just to show you guys, unfortunately, all of these people have anti-gravity blasters. So, I'm just going to end this video here. If you guys enjoyed this video... Um, I know it's not one of my best reviews just because I am a sick, but I promise you, I promise you soon I will get better. Um, then, yeah, if you did, then be sure to leave a like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for some more Pixel Gun 3D videos. I have like 57 weapon reviews on my channel now. I have a heck of a lot, not even going to lie, it's probably more than any other Pixel Gun YouTuber out there. So, you know, you can have a complete collection of any weapon you want to watch a review on. And uh, just check out my videos, and you can see what my opinions of are them. I also have some other Pixel Gun 3D series, not just weapon reviews. I have, like, uh, Colored Weapons Gameplay is a very popular series. I have glitches, a lot of different glitches. I have, like, 38 glitches or something like that. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it disconnect disconnected me from the room, so I'm just going to end the video here. If you got, uh, I was about to say if you guys enjoyed it. I already said that. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.